Hello guys, Tav HD here and welcome back to another video and I thought today I would show you my home entertainment setup. This is absolutely nothing fancy at all and in fact it's made up mostly of old hardware and I think the first thing to talk about, speaking of old, is this television. This is a Sony Bravia, it's only 37 inches full HD and that's obviously not a very big display. 37 inches by today's standards is puny. I think most people probably have at least a 55 inch these days, but not me. This is a 37 inch, as you can see, massive bezels on there. The bezels are about two and a half inches on each side. And this specific model is the Bravia KDL 37EX403. If that means anything to you, I doubt it will. But there we go, that is the model. And this television is going on for 12 years old. It was manufactured in, I believe, April 2010. So in April 2022, which is a couple of months away, this thing will be 12. Now, I'm actually very surprised that this thing is still going. It did belong to my grandparents. They hardly used it. They then upgraded to a 55 inch 4K television and I ended up with this, but I don't want a new 4K television. I'm very happy with this. I actually prefer this to their new one. Call me crazy or whatever, but I actually prefer this. I think it's a pretty decent size for the room that I've got. And yeah, this does everything I need it to. Compared to modern televisions, this has got loads of ports, it's got loads of SCART, HDMI, it's got everything I need. So unless this thing blows up, I don't think I'll be looking for an upgrade. Maybe if this breaks, I'll just buy another one the same. There's a couple on eBay for about 60 or 70 pounds. So who knows? Maybe I'll get one of those in the future. So now that we've taken a look at the television, which displays everything, let's take a look at everything which is connected to it. First, I will do this section, then I will do that section, and then I will do the right section. So in the middle bit, I've got an Xbox One S. I bought that just as the Xbox One S came out. Uh, I don't really use it much. When I first got it, I used it for maybe five hours a day, which I guess is quite a lot. But in the past year or so, I've probably used it for about 10 hours, but I've got games that I can play on it, so I won't be getting rid of it, just because I will need to play those games at some point. I'd like to be able to do that without having to go out and buy another Xbox. Next to that is a Google Home Mini, in my office tour from the other day, I mentioned that I had two of them. One of them is in my office, and this is the other one just there. It's the sort of grey coloured one from before they became Nest, so this is an original one. Got it for a very good price, and it's just plonked there. I use it to set timers, check the weather, and that sort of thing. Not for much, it can do a lot more than I ask from it, but it's quite useful just to have there to talk to sometimes. And underneath that is a one terabyte hard drive, which is connected to the Xbox One S. Now, if we look down at the bottom, this is an original PlayStation. I got this from CEX in Blackpool about seven or eight years ago. And I believe it was only 10 pounds. It's in great condition apart from the dust which I've let gather on it. So I think for 10 pounds, it was a pretty good price. And I think they have gone up in value since I'm guessing this one might now be worth 30 or 40 pounds. It's not much of an increase, but it's still an increase. So I'll be keeping a hold of this for quite a few years and hopefully it will gain more and more value. It works perfectly. And I've got a couple of games which I do quite like to play. I've got some old F1 games as well as Action Bass, which is a sort of fishing game. It's a kind of weird game, but it's also a kind of cool game. And I'm not sure if you can see, but there's kind of messy cables at the back. That's because the controller cables are not long enough to go from here to where I sit to play. So I just use the extra length of the cable to pull the PlayStation out so that the controllers can reach. And then when I'm done, I just slide it in and try to ignore the cable. So that's just where they all hide. When I'm sat watching the television, you can hardly see those cables, so it doesn't really bother me. Okay, so this is inside of the left cupboard. And before I talk about the consoles that are in here, I know all these cables here 
it's really not great. Most of the time this is all powered off with just the TV powered up, but I've plugged it all in today just to show you. So usually all this is off unless I'm using it. I know it's kind of a fire risk having so many plugs together. I need to get a better solution, but for now, that's just how it is. I'm very aware that it is a risk. That's why I leave it powered down most of the time. It's never all plugged in when I leave the house and really it's only ever plugged in when I'm using something here. So I just thought I'd get that out of the way. Horrible power management, but that's just how it is for the moment. So in here is my Xbox 360 Slim. This is one of the glossy ones. I think it's got a 250 gigabyte hard drive in it and I bought this for £70 probably about six or seven years ago. I was using the white Xbox 360 which I have featured before. That was my first Xbox and then that started getting a bit loud and making some funny noises so I shipped that back to its box and I bought this to use instead of it. I had this set up in my office all those years ago. I will try and find some video clips of it set up. I know there are some clips out there, so I will try and put those in. I don't really use this very much, although when I do want to play an Xbox 360 game, this is the Xbox 360 I use. I would quite like to set up my white one again down here at some point so I can use that also. And I do, of course, have that matte £7 one, which I got from Cash Generator, but whenever I want to play, this is the one I use. This is the quietest one I've got. It's the most reliable one I've got. And I think it's probably the nicest looking one, which I have as well. I do like the white older design ones, but this one's smaller and fits nicely inside this little cupboard. And next to it is my PlayStation 2. And these are kind of a little bit close, but they can still breathe. It is just fine. This PlayStation 2 cost me £20 from Cash Generator probably about five years ago, and it came with a free game inside it. I believe it was Simpsons Hit and Run. It wasn't meant to come with that, but it was in the disk drive when I brought it home. This thing fully works. It's one of the nice silver ones. And of course, if you didn't know, you can flip the PlayStation logo to suit the orientation. Most people that I've seen with these standing up, the PlayStation logo is sideways like that. And not many people know, you can just twist it to suit the orientation for when it's standing up. So there we go, that is now facing the right way. So in this side we have three consoles. We have a Wii, a PlayStation 3 Slim, as well as an original Xbox. Let's start off with the Wii. I think I've had this since 2013. It's one of the ones which has a GameCube compatibility. You can plug your GameCube controllers into the top. This is probably the most sought after model. They did do the late ones where they did not have GameCube support. And then there was the later, later ones, the black and red ones where the top folded open like a PS1. Uh, I'm not particularly keen on those. So I think this is the best model and I'm quite happy that I still have it. The prices of Wii's have gone down quite a lot. I remember maybe two years ago I saw some in CEX ones like this with the GameCube support. It was about £20 for one of these and 10 games, which is ridiculously low. I believe this, along with a Wii Fit board and some games and four controllers, cost about £100 when I got it in 2013 or whatever. So if I was to sell all that now, I would probably make a loss, but I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to keep it because I do actually quite like playing the Wii. This is probably the console that I use the most in here, and I just use it to play Wii Sports Resort. I definitely like that game. I like flying the plane around the little island, and I do like playing the table tennis on this as well. I do quite often end up hurting my shoulder from swinging the controller around too much, so I do have to be careful about that. But yeah, I do indeed like that Wii. Something next to it is something that I also like, but forgot that I even had. It was only when I opened this cupboard about 10 minutes ago, I remember that I had a PlayStation 3 in here. I've had this for six or seven years, I would think now. To start with, I used it quite a lot to play Minecraft on, but probably in the last three or four years, I've probably used it once or twice. Again, I don't use any of this stuff particularly often, and I kind of am embarrassed to say that I forgot 
all about this and it kind of sounds ungrateful that I've got it and didn't remember but I just didn't remember. I don't use this stuff often enough. I like to keep it around just in case I ever want to use it and of course I like to collect this sort of thing so it is nice just to have around. It's of course very dirty just like everything else in here. I did clean it all about six months back but somehow it's got dust again even though the door was shut so yeah here is that PlayStation 3. I believe it still works. I've got quite a lot of games for it and I really should play it some more. And below that we have an original Xbox, just like the PlayStation 2. I bought this at the same time at the same cash generator and this also costs £20. It's in pretty decent condition. There is some scuffing on the front but overall it's pretty decent. It was in rancid condition when I got it. It was full of yellow dirt. There's still some of it stuck on which I can't get off but overall now it is not too Bad. and as far as I'm aware it is still fully working. I do actually quite like playing with this Xbox. The graphics I think are still pretty decent for a machine which is about 20 years old and I like playing some driving games on it. Comparing the driving games available on this compared to the ones which I have played on the One S over there it really is incredible to see the differences but I do definitely like this console. I've only got one controller for it so I would like to get another one so I can play some multiplayer in here when people do come around. But yeah, I like this and I'm not too sure if it has gone up in value. £20 when I got it, I'm not too sure what they're worth now but of course I'm not really that bothered about how much these things are worth. I'm not really looking to get rid of them. These are my consoles and I don't see why I would get rid of them anytime soon. I don't use them much, but when I do use them, I do enjoy them. So there we are, this is my home entertainment setup. As I said at the start, it's not very exciting and it's kind of a bit of a mess, but that's fine, I don't use it much, but when I do, it is definitely fun to use. And as you could see, I don't have a PlayStation 4 and I definitely don't have any current generation consoles like the Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5. I'm not really interested in getting those. There's no games on them which I am really interested in which I couldn't get on my PC and also I don't think they would even fit in here. The PS5 is pretty massive and I don't think it would fit and if I was to try and squeeze a Series X in here I think it would have to be in one of the cupboards but then I would have to move those and I doubt it would have any breathing room so it would probably overheat so yeah I'm not going to be getting any of those consoles even if I could get my hands on one they are still pretty rare to find and I've only seen them a handful of times so yeah no new consoles for this and I'm guessing this will probably stay looking like this for the next few years I've pretty much got all the consoles that I want I kind of want a GameCube but do I need a GameCube if my Wii can play GameCube games I don't know, I'll just have to see what happens. And also, I don't really have any room for any more consoles. I could maybe squeeze another one inside the left cupboard if I moved all those power cables, but who knows, we'll just have to see what happens in the future. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully it was interesting in some way. Definitely not exciting, but I hope it was somewhat interesting. So thank you again for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.